Women first instinct is the devil. In order for a woman to get the right man in her life and to get everything that she claimed she wanted all her life since she was a toddler, the type of man she wanted, the type of life she wanted with a man, she have to disregard her first instinct. It's very evil. It's been put in the atmosphere from Eve ever since the beginning of sin. This instinct she have, that first instinct, allows her to want what she can't have, so she'll never have what she wants. This instinct, this first instinct, makes her to desire the forbidden. It makes her curiosity be more than her logic, more than her morals. She have to disregard her first instinct in order to save herself from being ran through, used up, and to have a life full of regret in the end. See, this first instinct gonna make her very evil, deceptive, very Jezebelish, succubus, bitch. This first instinct gonna make her vagina get this wide by the time she's 24. Glory hole. She have to disregard this first instinct. Because when you disregard that first instinct, she's no longer going to base the man's worth on his money, looks, and status. Not saying she have to get a homeless guy, but she's going to get somebody that she can, first of all, connect with mentally and spiritually. Then she will spring from there. Together, you can spring and get finances, start your own business, motivate each other. So much can happen from just when the love connection takes place like Avatar. When those tails connect and their eyes open, the connection took place. When a man and woman connect with each other on the right reasons and the love connect, that's when, that's when things can happen. Jesus like when those things happen. Jesus like when people get together for the right reasons. Jesus loved that. But when you get together for just superficial reasons, nothing wrong with being attracted to the other person, Attraction is a must, a little bit of attraction. It can be one thing, two, three, three things. You'll be lucky to have more than two things to be attracted to a person physically. But if y'all can get along with each other and want the best for each other, really want the best for each other, and you overlook the petty stuff and the minor stuff, there's so much more you can do. There's so much you can do. You know? There's so much you can do together. Women, once you, they avoid the first instinct, this is how they avoid the first instinct. By simply saying, why do I like this guy? My first instinct says, this guy is not paying me attention. Even in school. This guy is not paying me attention. Um, should I give him the booty? Should I suck his hand bone in the stairway? Don't suck his hand bone in the stairway. Um, you know, say hello to him. But if your first instinct is to try to get a man with your body, it's not going to work. Now, a real man, he wants your body and he wants your mind. He want to connect with your body. He want to connect with your mind. Um... But you have to connect with his mind. You have to like him for the right reasons. A man can want to have sex with you on the first night and still have good intentions for you. Just because you have sex with a man fast don't mean he don't. Now, I know you want to wait till you marry. If you're a Christian, that's fine. But those who can't wait till they marry because they're scared that the person might not have this, they might not have a wee-wee, this and that, you know, and you just want to save, the, you know, save yourself some, some misery, some time, and they decide to have sex, then, uh, it you know, it don't always mean somebody just wants sex when they just coming at you for sex. But women need to understand that their first instinct of trying to run after somebody who's not running after them is not good. Wanting the forbidden, wanting what they can't have. Always got to win a man's approval. If this man is paying them attention, um, they think he's not worth nothing. See, the first instinct say, he's not worth nothing if he paying me attention. Because they got low self-esteem of themselves. If he valuing me, I don't value myself, so he must got it twisted. 
This man ignoring me, this man knows me. He knows I'm not worth nothing. So my goal is to prove to the man who think I'm not worth nothing that I am worth something. So that's what they're doing. So most of their life, they run away from the guys that will take them seriously and go after the guys, for the other guys that don't pay them attention, guys that's getting attention, guys that's getting popularity, guys that's, uh, you know, that may be born in wealth, you know, or have certain material possessions. So they run after those guys and get ran through because they selling, they not, they not including personality, mind, health, none of that. So that's how they get ran through by guys who look at them like a piece of meat. Later on, they play victim. Guys ain't worth shit. Guys not this, guys not that. But they never took a mirror inside their soul and said, damn, I was fucking with this nigga because he had a car. I was fucking with this nigga because... He had curly hair. I was fucking with this nigga because he had light eyes. I was fucking with this nigga because he was 6'11". I was fucking with this nigga because all the girl, because my friend said he was cute. And I ain't really like him, but I wanted, to suck, I wanted to suck his dick because my friend said he was cute. And I wanted to get something that my friend wanted before she got it, even though I didn't want it. So all these different scenarios allows women to, these first instincts they get allows them to get closer and closer to the devil. And it's motivated by the devil, you know, and it causes them to to get ran through and get a lot of mileage on them. You know, their vagina start looking like oh, like spoiled uh, lettuce, fried bologna. Um, and then, of course, they still may be able to get a blue peel beta male. These guys are just happy because a lot of these girls that get ran through, their face still might look cute. They might still dress fly. But you don't see that they don't have no nipples. You don't see the stretch marks from the kids they got from the no good man. You don't see the the the, the stretched out vaginal hole with the clitoris hanging out like this, like a dog's tongue. <laughs> clitoris hanging out. See, a healthy vagina has it's like a peach. It's like a peach hole. It's just closed, and the, the clit is inside for extra stimulation. So, and you know, in a healthy vagina can have an orgasm as quick as a man can. But when a vagina has been worn out and stretched out of place and has been broken and the nerves has been stretched out of the universe, it's so long, it takes so long, if, if ever, for them to have orgasm. Some of them never have orgasm. Women say, no man can please me. No, it's because you have been stretched out. If your body was in, is intact and your body is healthy, you will be pleased. You will be pleased. So I'm here to let you know that the devil is trying to waste years and years of a woman's life so she uh, won't focus on the right decision, but to focus on the superficial, forbidden decision. Want, wanting a man that's, that's already in a relationship. Wanting a man that's, in, that's married. Wanting a man that's not paying her attention. Wanting a man that's, um, that don't care about her. These are the women that they're fighting for attention for. The, the good men, you know, I won't even say good men. The men that's not, that, that would take, that would that have her in their best interest. They want to, they want to get to know her for the right reasons. The man may not like her if he get to know her, but he can't even get to know her because he's trying to, she can sense that he's trying to get to know her for the right reasons. So, Therefore, she gets turned off because she can sense he's trying to get to know the real me. He's not just trying to smash and dash. So let me go ahead and push him away because he's trying to he's trying to play husband role. I want a man that I have to make act right. I don't want a man that's already acting right is what the woman is saying. This is thousands and thousands over top of thousands of women. I interview so many women. I um, I have interview. I have clients all over the nation. These women waste most of their lives of having babies by guys who don't really interest in them, or having babies by guys that already have girlfriends or wives. You know, the problem is it's easier for a guy to get other women once he get a, a wife or a girlfriend. 
So it's so many women come at you when you got a girlfriend or a wife that you take a, a godly man, a real strong Christian man to be like, no, nah, I ain't going to cheat on my wife. I ain't going to do her like that because the guy may have may haven't been getting that many girls. He probably wasn't getting that many girls because, you know, nobody don't want you when nobody else wants you. If you ain't got nobody, nobody else don't want you. The moment you got somebody or got something, everybody want to get, everybody wants you, everybody want to give you something free. So a lot of these guys that it never was in them like that to do that, they end up falling victim because they got girls that's coming at them that look better than their wife or girlfriend. Because they want to break up the bond. Of course, it's the evil devil. He gets into people. It's all the devil. It's it's all the devil. It's, it's a spiritual warfare going out here. So you got to stay close to praying. You got to stay close to Jesus. You got to keep on, keep on, keep on praying. Even when you make mistakes, you're constantly going to sin. But you got to stay You got to stay planted and plugged in with Jesus. With, listen to his word. Listen to his word on YouTube or something. There's so much you can do to um, stay close to Jesus in these times. I'm Alan Williams, the real you in there. Um, don't forget to like, follow. If you know somebody need to hear this video, share it to them now, share it to their social media, share it to your social media. Check out the next video. Remember, I love you, but Jesus love you more.